Brand, reporting to you live from sunny Santa Barbara. Today's recipe is hot dogs. I have had requests on my channel to make hot dogs. It's a sunny day at the beach, and I have found a place that's appropriate for me to cook with my iron. Finding electricity is always the big deal of the day, and I'm always looking for a good deal. The chain of events is free electricity, a 100-foot extension cord, and my iron. You need to plug in your iron and turn it on high. The iron needs to preheat for this recipe in order to get our hot dogs a luscious golden brown. The ingredients for this dish are hot dogs, bread, tomatoes, red onions, four pieces of cheese because I want it super gooey, condiments, foil, and toxic spray. This is toxic. I don't like using this, but someone requested that I do. They said it'd be less messy, so I'm going for that today. Foil will be our cooking surface today for this recipe. You need to weight it down if you're at a windy beach. This recipe is good for any place where you have an iron and an ironing board. That might be a hotel. I don't know where you are, but go ahead and use whatever facilities you have to your best advantage. We need to get our wiener out of the package. He appears to be seven inches, and that's good for this recipe because he will fit on our bread appropriately. Hot dogs will roll, and they may roll off your ironing board, so you need to cut them in half. Slice it down the middle. Spray your foil with the cooking spray generously. Lay your hot dogs on that foil. You should really give them about one quarter inch so the heat may permeate the hot dogs in a very even manner. Spray your second sheet of cooking oil thoroughly and put your lid on it. You need to aim your iron for the target, which is right there. You only want to do this once. I believe that we no longer need to be iron deficient in our diet. But while this is cooking, I need to point out a few things about my day at the beach. It was a very busy day at the beach. There were a lot of people here, and there were a lot of dogs here, and they did not know the recipe was hot dog, because if they did, they would have followed me to where I'm at, because dogs like to eat hot dogs. If they knew I was making a hot dog sandwich, they would be here to eat the hot dogs, for dogs eat hot dogs. I had a little trouble with the birds. The birds surrounded me. The birds took my cheese. I had to forage through my supplies to get more cheese. The birds took off with my cheese. I wish you were here to go for a little swim with me in this beautiful Pacific Ocean. I put on my little goggles. I ran out in the waves and I went swimming. I ran into my friend Steve. Steve is a very good swimmer. I am not. I found friends. I had pictures taken with friends of mine. They're very nice. They are from Cleveland, Ohio. There's Sedona and there's Caleb. They had fun swimming in the beach today. We talked. I am making new friends everywhere I go. I hope you all may visit Santa Barbara one time soon. We can cook together at the beach. I will make for you what you like to eat. We found three four-legged friends today. They smelled the hot dogs. They came up. They wanted to eat some. Well, it's not ready and it's for me. Be on your way. It's been three minutes, let's check. Oh man, that looks great. We got sticking action. It's sticking to the foil. Wait a second, uh-oh. Oh my goodness, they're almost burnt and they're, they're moving around. Okay, let's flip them. I'm not gonna take the chance I wanna get my cameraman's leg if I were to move that foil like I did in a previous recipe. Put the lid back on and the iron for another two minutes, then it's gonna be done. This is a very fast recipe. It only takes five to make. I see picnickers today at the beach. Well, they don't have hot dogs, I do. they are fine establishments to eat in Santa Barbara, but this is cheaper, I like this way. I'm spraying my foil. One, two, no. No, no, you get none, shut up. He listened, at least I got some power in this world. I'm not making any friends with these birds. They might get me. I've got to hurry up with this recipe. Down goes that iron on top of that sprayed foil on top of that cheese. We're gonna melt that. I might have to babysit this part to make sure he doesn't slide off, because he would. For time efficiency, I am now going to use my left hand to put the condiments on my bread for my sandwich today. Squeeze that mustard, I like a lot. Now it's time for the dill relish. I enjoy tomato on my hot dog sandwich. And red onion, yum. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Let's check our hot dog. Oh man, will it have worked? Okay, okay, oh man. That looks great. It is now time to transfer the hot dogs and the melted cheese onto our sandwich. Woo, I did it. It didn't slide off. Okay, sometimes I do things right. We have success. On goes the lid. We're gonna slice it now. Let's try this. 
What's it look like inside? Wow, yummy. Let's try it. Oh man, that's awesome. It's gone to the birds. Paul Alfred Hitchcock signing off. It's Rebecca Brand. It's not a fish day, it's a bird day. <laughs> See you next time. Uh.